So hi everyone, it's us again. This time I'm gonna show you how to do a double messy bun. It's a French braid and it's double. So this should be fun. So make sure you smooth the hair out, like I always say, make sure there's no knots. And then we just dampen it down a little bit because my little girl's hair is fly away and never wants to stay in the right place. and just make sure it's brushed all the way through. Now what we do here on the sides is we're literally just gonna carve out like a C from her, like the temple all the way down into the nape and just pin that out of the way. That'll come in later. I'll show you how to use that. And then just repeat it on the other side as well, which you'll see now, again from the temple, carve down like a, like a C into the nape of the neck and then um, clip it away. Do you remember how I said my daughter's hair was fly away and never wanted to sit in the right position? This is why we damp it down. It's rebellious, never wants to do what I ask it to. And we clip that one away as well. So ready, brush it all back, ready to go in with our French braid. Um, now I am going to French braid, if you guys don't know how to French braid, I'm going to tag in below how to do a French braid on my other link where I showed you how to do a French braid. This way you can, you can do this either French or Dutch, so if you're going to do French it's going to be over and into the middle, if it's going to be Dutch it's going to be under and into the middle. Here we are adding in hair, just solely into those sections, remember to leave them see sections that we pinned out of the way, don't touch those until later. and just keep adding all the way down until you get to about halfway, sort of like the crown area, um, which is where you'll see me stop as well. Just keep braiding until you get to there. And then once you get to that crown area, just braid as normal and put a bobble in. Just do a couple more stitches and then put a bobble in just to hold that into place. Now we're just gonna flip the head upside down. I'm splitting her hair into half, again, because her hair is super flyaway and never wants to listen to what I want it to do. Remember that this is a messy, so you don't want this to look really neat. It needs to be sort of like just randomly pulled into place. So you don't need to be a perfectionist on this because it is a messy bun. Um, perfect for little ones because it's only gonna get messier during the day and perfect for us who we some sort of rock this messy look. And then French braid or Dutch braid, depending on what you want to do. The wrong way around. Make sure you tip your head right upside down and then just work this through. And as I say, you can be as messy or as neat as you want to be. I'm just being dead messy because it's a messy bun. And then again, as you get to the end and you run out of hair and you've met the other section, just do a couple more stitches in the braid and then just leave it, put another bobble into it. And then what we're gonna do is pull those two braids up and together and then just literally put a bobble right at the base where them two braids join. And then take out the other bobbles that were left in from where you braided before. Now these two side C sections, which I said to you leave, don't touch, not until now. Just pull them up over the side because I don't like that look where it breaks between where the braid is into um, the side. So I just cover them over with these little sections. So you just pick them up and smooth them into the hair bobble. Don't obviously dig in your brush. I'm just using a little ball brush here, which is a soft, sort of like a hair up brush. But you can really use any brush you want. Just don't dig in the, the comb and then just tie those into place. Because what you don't want to do by digging in the comb is pull out any other bits of hair. So with this bit, you can basically do whatever you want. You can leave it in a ponytail or you can braid it. You can braid it and then pull it around into a bun. But like I said, I'm going to do a really messy bun. So I'm just gonna put a bobble in here and do like a half a turn and then just sort of pull it into like a little um, half bun thing. And then I'm just gonna literally clip it into place. Dead messy. Um, there's no rhyme or reason to how you can put this in. It looks like a hot mess at the moment, but 
just pin it as you want it however to your heart's desire you want to pin and just use those little Kirby grips you can see that I'm using there and just pin these into place but like I say you can do whatever you want there you can leave it in a bobble the only reason I like to pin it up is because I like to see that braid underneath but that is completely up to you the little bit of hair that's left underneath just swish it to the side and pin that in as well so you can't see it anymore and then just pull it as desired I let little bits of hair fall out and I just like it to look like a real mess and there you go that's the end result it's a double braid messy bun and here's my little girl dancing again and if she's not randomly like leaning down our oven is mirrored so she just loves looking at herself in the in the mirrored oven so um she loves it and again her handmade dress made by my mother-in-law and this is what it looks like from the bottom to the top and I've just put in like a little bow thing that you you can put in whatever you want really and um, you can put them in little headbands with the cute little flowers and things on it or just put in a clip or you can just leave it as is so this is the look this is exactly what it looks like I really like it I think it's something quick and easy just to get their hair out of their face in a day so if you enjoyed this Please feel free to check out our channel and look at our other videos and we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye!